Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel where it's my opinion or no opinion at all. Scottalicious McFabulous here. And I'm so glad that you guys could join me today. And we got another Michael Kors shopping guide, but this time it's a bit different. It is a little different than my previous ones. This is not outlet versus retail. This is website versus website. Does that make sense? No ma'am. No ma'am. Before we get into the tea of it all, if you guys love fashion, skincare, drama, and or pop culture, please hit the subscribe button, like this video, and let's look at the many um, different websites that Michael Kors has across the world because, sweetie, there is a lot. There is a lot, if not too many. So what I mean by many websites of Michael Kors is they have a website for pretty much every single country on the damn globe. I don't know... <laughs> Girl, don't add. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I guess it makes sense. But what doesn't make sense is the fact that when you go to certain areas of the globe in the Michael Kors website, so let's take Europe. Let's take all of Europe. They have quite a few different styled handbags and handbag colors that North America does not get itself. And North America also gets a couple different designs slash colors that Europe doesn't get. But because there are so many different handbag styles and different color variants slash style variants of all sorts of different handbags, we're going to narrow it down to one handbag style and that being the Michael Kors Soho due to the fact that it's their most popular handbag currently and... It is the one handbag that has different colors, different sizes, different studdings across the entire globe. It gets kind of insane with how many different sizes and style variants of the Soho there actually are across the globe. So if we look at the Chinese website, they got like everything in all the sizes and all the studdings. Like there's maybe the dark berry color that they don't have. I, I have questions, Michael Kors. I want to know why we can't get the all red with the all red studding and we got to live with the red with the gold studding. Why do we got to live with that one? I really like that there's so many different color variants of the Soho, but it gets so frustrating because you see some certain colors of the Soho, like in the Chinese, Japanese websites, and they are inaccessible. Like You can't access that unless you want to pay outrageous amounts for like duties and shipping because obviously it's not coming from the country you're ordering within so you're gonna have to pay out the wazoo just to get that one color and that that's just not doable that's not doable for most people and just who wants to pay a thousand dollars for a five hundred dollar handbag nobody absolutely nobody 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 like, I won't complain too much because we did end up getting some of the styles and some of the uh, the, uh, the color variants that the Chinese market gets. But they still have quite a few different colors. And it's not frustrating, but it's like, oh, come on. Like, I would like to have that extra additional option between five different colors instead of the ones that we have, which there's no problem with, mind you. But while researching this video for probably months now, I have noticed that the Chinese market got some of the ones that we got now first. So there's a possibility that the North American or European markets might get the uh, these specific color variants, but even then, when looking at what was available to the, to the Chinese market first compared to what was available to the North American market first, night and day differences. They were immediately available with small Sohos. We had to wait literally half a year. No, we had to wait four months, three months for the small Soho to even remotely come in. So it is kind of off. And I don't think they even have the extra. I don't think they have... And make it make sense, Michael Kors. Make it make sense because it doesn't make sense and I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated. <laughs> now, there's also 
not only with color variants, but there's limited edition color variants. I know that sounds completely whack because we don't get those, but I please correct me if I'm wrong because I could not, for the life of me, re-find it. But Michael Kors had released a yellow, an all yellow Soho. I think it was exclusive to India or something. So I ended up actually finding how to get the bag. It was, it, it, it's like, uh, it's only found in the Middle Eastern countries and it's only specifically found in certain malls there, if I'm not mistaken. I'm gonna show you guys the uh, article picture here. Now, the decisions Michael Kors comes up with for this could easily, easily just come down to marketing and what people are buying in each region. It could totally vary from place to place, 100%. But, just hear me out here, please hear me out. Why not just include, like, all of them for everybody? And But, like, it just... Why not include every style for every place, but lower, let's say, because when we look at... Uh, for some reason, the Chinese market does not have the extra large Soho, but they have Soho, like the small Soho and the large Soho. But when you look at the North American one, we at first had the large Soho and then got the extra large Soho. So there could be just a clear market difference, but an easy way to just circumvent all that and just so people have access to absolutely everything you are creating and they don't have to pay double the price or three times the price to get a different color variant you could all just say there's a hundred black and gold sohos and then you put out um light blue soho with the light blue studding just make 10 of those make 10 but make a hundred of these because you know there might be a couple people that want the light blue soho with the light blue hardware instead we just have access to the one which is the light blue Soho with gold hardware. So I don't understand where they come up with these decisions personally, but it could just simply come down to the fact of what, who's buying what, where, when, and why. I do hope we get to see some of these different colors because it, it it's nice to have that option. It's nice to have the option of, oh, I want the matching hardware or I want the gold hardware or whatever, right? Like, it's nice to have options is what I'm saying. Okay. But yeah, so that is like my global type of Michael Kors shopping guide. I know it's not as in-depth and uh, as in like heavily informated as my other ones are, but I did think find it very interesting personally that there's different areas of the world that carry different styles colors sizes it, it's kind of annoying but at the same time say like the limited edition yellow one for india like i get it maybe there's just like a huge market for the yellow color in a certain country or area continent which also one thing i want to add i could not access for the life of me the united states specific website. So if someone has access to both the Canadian website and the United States website, that'd be great. Because if I'm not mistaken, they just combine the two. So whether you're signing in or logging in from uh, the American side or the Canadian side, they're literally just the same websites, just different IP addresses. I think, I think because as I, I could not access the American, like strictly American website. So I think they're both combined. Anyways, I love you guys, and I'm going to show you guys my alpha of the day and my skincare routine. Maybe there is right now. And 99, don't believe in you. But all you need is just for one person to believe. There can be a hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred hundred people. hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. A hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred people. hundred 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 thousand nine thousand or nine nine hundred ninety nine there can be a hundred i hope you guys enjoyed the outfit of the day i think it's a nice cute little 
blue and black outfit to you. Again, I hope this was at least a little helpful. I know it wasn't a super guide, but I thought it was interesting. I thought it was interesting. Maybe you guys do this and maybe I'm just under a rock. Maybe I live under a rock and y'all knew this and I'm just dumb. <laughs> it's a possibility, y'all. Anyways, this is what I used for my skincare was the uh, Luxicon Peony Essence Spray. And then I used the Reverse Anti-Spot Brightening Cream, Lightening Cream, it's 4% Glycolic Acid. And then I used the Reversa SPF 30 Radiant Sunscreen. And for cologne, I used the Bulgari Aqua Pour Home. And it is just a lovely scent, let's just say that. Anyways, I love you guys so much. If you guys are new, please subscribe. Hit that like button, comment to me any type of opinion you may or may not have, and share this video with your friends and family. I love you guys, and I will see you beautiful faces in my next video. Bye! <laughs> uh, I, I think it was good. I, I... I'm done. I'm done. Oh, no, show's <laughs> over. Show's over. <laughs>